What's going on, YouTube? This is what we're Josh do, and this is a super exciting video because this is Anchor's brand new charger. It is a built-in USB-C cable, it has a screen, and it charges your Apple Watch. It's a part of their new lineup where you can have like this three-in-one that charges up your AirPods, your phone, and your watch. They have released a whole bunch of new products, and I'll have separate videos for those if you wanna go check those out. Let's check this thing out. This is Anchor's Maggo. This is a brand new release, just like all the products that you just saw. I mean, they just released. So there's some information here on the uh, side of it, as far as volts, amps, wattage, and all that good information, some safety listings. Anchor Maggo Series 6, all the stuff that it can do. There's the model number, A1657, and then UPC and some information there. And then on the back of it, it shows that you can connect it to your phone. No cable needed because it has one built in. You can have your phone charging while you have your watch charging. Now my watch health is in the 70s, so this is definitely exciting to have this, to keep that sucker going. It buys me a little bit more time with my watch before I trade it in and get a newer watch. I am currently wearing a Pixel watch, but my two daily drivers are a 15 Pro Max and a Pixel 8 Pro, so I use both phones. Now, here we've got the unit. All right, cool. We have uh, use this sticker to stabilize your Apple Watch during charging. It does not affect charging performance. Okay, cool. And then we have an instruction booklet. It's gonna redirect you to the website. And let's check this thing out, man. Come on. So it's similar to what we know. Now, if you can't tell, I'm a little addicted to power banks that have the built-in cables, especially this one right here, which has the built-in lightning port and also a built-in Type-C port. So you're never in a situation where you're charging your newer iPhone, but then your friend has their older iPhone and you're like, hey, I got a charger for you too, no worries. So I'm a little addicted to these built-in cable charging banks. Then this one is my wife's. This is the one that plugs into the wall. So there's three ways to charge it. And then I have a white one. So, <laughs> and then I have a black one, but this one has the uh, lightning port, not type C. So they make one like that. And then this is my wife's right here. This is her Nano. This is the one that she loves. This is the older style. It's got the older screen. There you go. And then uh, this one is, yep. So this one is gonna be the closest to it right here because it's just basically the cable here. It's got a type C port, a USB A port, and you have to have a wall charger to charge it. Yeah, and that's the other one I have that's type C. This is my wife's purple power bank, the 533. So these are hers. She likes purple. And then this one, this one's uh, the lightning port, which they also have a type C, which is currently in my daughter's backpack because she has a 15 Pro and it uses type C. And then of course, this beautiful one right here, 65 watts on this port. And it could do 87 total, 20,000 milliamp hours. Basically what I'm saying is I love these built-in cable power banks. And this is no exception. So they have different colors. You could choose whichever one you like. Let's take a look at the information that is back here. I will let you pause that and read it for yourself. There's a lot of data there. All right, now let's uh, press the power button and we get that newer screen. So on these, it's the older screen. This one's the newer one. It's the same type of screen found on Anchor's newest Prime Fusion power bank. And then we have the watch. So this is gonna fold out, sweet. So you can set the watch on it like that. Or, look, it's already charging right away. Or you can have it laying like that. So it'll like show you the time and all that good information while you have this cable plugged into your phone. So it looks like the screen is upside down. Like we can obviously flip it around the other way by turning the whole power bank. But let's see. So if you double press the power button, it puts it in a low power mode. You'll want to use that if you plan on using this wired port to charge up some AirPods because your AirPods are going to probably charge it like one or two watts. And if you don't have it on low power mode, it's gonna think that whatever you have plugged into is fully charged and it's gonna kill the power. 
So you'll want to use that low power mode whenever you're charging up some uh, Pixel Buds, some AirPods or game controller or something that just uses very low power. And then exit it, you'll just double press the button and it goes away. Now holding it turns the screen off and then pressing it turns it on. Now if we turn this over, it's going to show us some really good information here. It's going to show us that C1 is currently doing 23 watts, which means our phone is charging at a very good speed. And it's showing that our watch is getting just one watt. Now, how exciting is that? That you can physically see how slow or how fast your watch is currently charging. That's awesome. Now it says two watts. Now my watch is currently full. If you see that, it is at, you know, 100%. So it's not gonna charge that fast. And if you have a newer watch, it charges faster. This is an old series five. Have had this thing for a few years now. I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to upgrading because newer watches can charge faster and this thing can charge it up to five watts for your Apple watch. And then if you take it away, it's gonna show that, oh, Oh, so the screen is like this until you flip out that, then it changes. Okay, okay, interesting. That's pretty cool. I like that. So now that we know we can charge our phone really fast, Anchor has these little 30 watt nano bricks here. Now, if you can't tell, anytime there's a sale, I pick one or two of them up because I just love these little things. I got one in my backpack, one in my work backpack. I got one in my car, one in my truck. Like I got one of these things everywhere. They're 30 watts and they're super cheap. You can usually get them for about 16 to $18. So we'll just grab, I don't know, we got a white one, a little white power bank. Let's grab a white charger here and we'll plug it in and then we'll plug the power bank in. So that's the coolest thing, right? Anytime you have a type C port anywhere, such as the one on your computer, or the one that's here, or the one that's in public, you know, like, you could just plug it in, and here, look at this, this is freaking sick, this is freaking sick, it shows the actual charging speed, so on this guy right here, it said, okay, you're going to be fully charged in one hour, and, you know, you had to think to yourself, okay, one hour full charge, that's great, so you plug it into the port on the computer, and now it says four hours, until you fully charge the battery in here. And you're like, okay, well obviously I wanna plug it into the one that says one hour, cause that means we're connected to a faster charger. But you, that's basically, you know, <laughs> that's your benchmark, right? Whichever one you plug it into that gives you the shortest time, obviously that's the one to use. This one actually has the charging speed right there. It says C1 is going at 29 watts. It's recharging and it's gonna take one hour and 20 minutes to fully charge. That is super exciting. I did not realize that this power bank was gonna tell me the actual speed that it was recharging at. So this just became my favorite little nano power bank because now I actually have a couple USB to Apple Watch chargers that I had to buy and then a couple USB-C to Apple Watch chargers to buy and then you know I have to have the USB well this has USB-C only so I, did, I didn't take a look at all the stuff on there but if you want USB-A you got to get the older one but I don't use USB-A anymore so I love that it has only the USB-C this is an in and out you can plug another device into this now someone's going to ask it's charging. It's at 25%. It's charging at 30 watts. It's going to take one hour, 20 minutes to fully charge. Can we plug it into the side here and then plug this into our phone? All right. So our phone is currently charging. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at that. So not only is my phone charging right now, it's actually showing me that my phone is receiving seven watts and C1, the built-in port, is receiving 15 watts from the wall. So if we look here, we've got almost 17 watts coming from the wall. And then our phone is currently charging. That's massive. That's huge. That means if you plug your power bank into the wall, and then you plug your phone into the power bank, you can go to bed, you can go to work, you can go to school, whatever. 
And when your school's over, your sleep is over, your work is over, you've got a full 100% power bank and a full 100% phone off of just one USB-C port right here. That is super exciting. Now, if we connect up that watch, we're drawing the 30 watts. Let's see if, what happens when we connect up the watch. So the watch says it's currently charging and we're still getting a very good speed from the wall. So depending on how much power the device you're plugged in takes, depends on how fast it's gonna charge the pow power bank. All right, so what we're gonna do now is turn this sucker off because we don't want the watch thinking that it's charging. Oh, this thing feels smaller than this one too. Oh, it is. It's a little bit shorter. It's a little bit thicker actually. It's like it's stubbier. Interesting. It's a little bit thicker, but it's shorter. I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it. You know, this saying, oh, it'll be done charging in, you know, two hours. This thing saying, hey, I'm charging at 30 watts, you know, or, or hey, I plug it in. I'm charging at 15 watts. And you're like, hey, what gives? It should be charging at 30 watts. Yeah, and that's pretty massive. The fact that this thing can recharge itself at 30 watts, that's fast. That's really fast. Okay, so now it says 27%. Let's connect it up to our tester here and let's see what all protocols this sucker has. All right, so we have a lot of data here. Let's start at the top. We've got quick charge two and three up to 12 volts. All right, we got FCP 24 watts up to 12 volts, two amps. We have FCP 22 watts and then we've got AFC up to 18 watts, nine volts, two amps. And then we've got that power delivery. And look at that, we've got 12 volts, 15 volts, 20 volts, nine volts, five, we've got all the volts. And we've got pretty good amount of amps there. And look at this data here. We've got five volts to up to 11 volts at 2.75. So that means we have Samsung super fast charging, which is fantastic. So if we plug this into our Google Pixel 8 Pro, you're gonna see PPS, which is great. Charging rapidly, which is what you love to see. And yeah, we are climbing because it's realizing it can take more and more volts. Look at that. That's exciting data there. And look, you don't need no stinking fancy tester. You don't need no stinking fancy tester. It says right there, 20 watts, 22 watts, 24 watts, 26. Let's freaking go. 26 watts. That's impressive. So our Pixel 8 Pro is going to charge at its full speed which is absolutely fantastic. Oh, gotta love to see. Look at that, almost 11 volts at PPS there. 2.75 amps. Let's go, 27 watts on there. Obviously, you're gonna probably have it connected to an iPhone. You're probably buying this since you have an Apple Watch. And yeah, our iPhone 15 Pro Max could charge at a theoretical up to 27 watts. This is awesome. And then if we connect up the watch, watch is currently charging. This is still getting up. Oh my gosh. That is so beautiful. That is so beautiful. And then here it reflects what the phone's charging at and what the watch is charging at. And yes, we could take it a step further and we can go ahead and plug this in to the wall. And look, the little arrow, it, it changed. So these are saying blue, like the power's leaving it. This is a little charging icon. So we are currently charging this thing while it's charging our phone which shows right there, phone's currently charging, Apple Watch is currently charging, and the power bank is currently charging. And then check this out. So we got the watch charging, we got the phone charging. Well, what if your friend wants their phone charged too? Oh, that's even charging. Look at that, it says charging. So we have our phone charging, we got our friend's phone charging, and we have our Apple Watch charging. That is absolutely massive. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe to this channel. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not doing so already. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.